Wow, I guess that last episode at the Red Barn happened just in time. It's raining, raining, raining. And now I probably need a heater and some defrosters. So that's what we're going to do this episode. Here we go. Well, all right. Welcome back. After that last episode of getting the wipers working, I'm now all about winterizing the 914, and I figured I should go after getting some kind of heater defroster system going. So we're going to work on that now. And for those of you that aren't aware, this is this contraption. It's been modified, I'll tell you why. But this contraption is the fresh air blower. Now, it's been disassembled in preparation for what I'm trying to do. But essentially, there's a blower motor. And that blower motor is controlled by an old school analog switch uh, switching system that lives in the dash of the car. And there's a series of push-pull cables uh, that control the different vents that you can open for defrost or where you want to route heat in the car. But this is the part we're going to be talking about today. This is how they switch the three-speed motor. And it's uh, uh, grounded, right? There's one power lead that runs to the motor and there are three ground leads and you can see by this fancy switch that as you move it into different positions it grounds one of three of those leads and whichever of those leads is grounded runs into the motor and spins the motor at the appropriate speed so a couple things we're trying to do one we got to try to control this blower motor and i want to do it with one button as all things are controlled in that car, or that's what I'm trying for. And then we also need to get, um, since the car no longer has heat exchangers in it, we need to get heat somehow. And the typical thing to do is what you're seeing here, and that is this. This is a heater core out of, I think it's like a 94 Mustang. And I've disassembled the fresh air box, and I'm going to get the blower out of the way here for a second. And then what happens is, and I'm not the person who invented this by any stretch. This has been done. But you can get a, a, a heater core in here. And then this will sit over the top of it. Obviously, it needs to be modified to cover everything. And then there's also a rain hat that goes in here because where this lives, it lives... I'm not going to try to fit it in here because I can't right now. But it lives right, you can see, that opening fits up underneath that grill opening, the base of the windshield, high pressure area. So fresh air feed into this. And then in, there was a hot air feed up into the ducting system. And then this blower would take either co cold air or fresh air rather, hot air, and then through the blend doors and amount of heat you wanted to turn on and the blower speed and blah, 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 blah. It would push warm air into the car, defrost, etc. We need to get water cooled heat into the fresh air system. So I started down this path and then realized that this means I'm stuck with a pretty heavy giant motor and a bunch of, you know, 914 parts which I'm not really going to use because I don't care so much about blending heat. I really just want a rudimentary heater and uh, a defrost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up not using this, at least for the time being. I'm going to use this thing, which is out of a, or it's designed for a classic mini. And it's got a teeny little fan set up and a teeny little radiator set up. And it, the specs indicate that it's going to be putting out just plenty of heat uh, and, and uh, cubic feet of air volume to warm this car up. And again, if it's, a, if it's three, you know, three degrees below zero, I'm not driving this car anyway. So really it's just... I, as I said, a rudimentary heater. Now, the issue is, what do we do where, you know, this has got a high, medium, and low. How do I control a multi-speed system with one button? Let's go look at what we're going to do. So the PDU software is used to create all the necessary elements, the switches, the functions, the outputs, and all the other parameters necessary to get the functionality you want. In this case, this is the main button switch, if you will. And you can see at the bottom, the hold time, that's where the, quote, long push is defined. And then for this example, a table needed to be created that said when the various switches are in various states, what percentage of the voltage do you want to send over to the motor? Here you can see the 50 or 100%. And then it all comes together 
and drives an output. And here's the output that I'm using. And you can see that I'm using the pulse width modulation functionality and these different functions to control when it's 50%, when it's 100%. All right, so now I'm gonna disconnect the computer. And here's our test. Now we just do a, a, two, but, a two second hold. Actually, I changed it to one second, sorry. <laughs> and it comes on low. So there it is on, on low speed. There it is on high. And I can alternate between high and low. Many times as I need to. And then when we want to shut it off, we just do a long push over a second and down shuts the blower. So there you go. We've got a uh, one power output driving a two speed fan, which by the way, and I can go back in and adjust like that medium, rather the lower speed, if you will. I can adjust that to be kind of wherever I want it to be as long as, you know, under hundred percent. So I'll work that out as I start using the car and determine, you know, it's like, if, where is it effective on low and where does it need to be on high? Um, I can also move to the medium, you know, I can move to the medium circuit if medium speed of the fan is high enough, right? At least with this fan. But we'll see when the mini fan gets here what that's going to work out to be. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Now, the other thing I like about this in closing on some of this electrical stuff is every single feature on the button uh, paddles works the same way. You want to turn something on, you hold it down for a long push. You want to vary it in terms of its speeds, you know, that's high beam, low beam or it's wiper speeds or it's blower speeds, it's a quick click on the button to alternate back and forth between those positions and then a long hold shuts it off. So at least, it may be weird, but at least it's consistent. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, now it's on to the hardware side of this. We'll get the fan uh, and the heater unit in from the classic mini guys and figure out where we want to mount it, how we want to run our hoses to it, and, uh, and we'll be all set. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you. Here I thought I was finished. I have one more cool thing to show you, and it's right here. Those of you that have worked with um, water-cooled cars um, and heaters know what you're looking at here. This is a heater control valve. And so i got to figure out where I'm going to put this and um, how I'm going to plumb it, you know, physical location. But the cool thing about this is, in typical me fashion, normally this would be cable-driven. I'd have to worry about routing a cable. But I was able to find this one, and as you can imagine, I'm, I'm sure you can guess where we're going with this. I'm just going to put this on the ground here. But this is electronically controlled with a servo motor. And so I have an infinitely variable knob that will allow me to adjust the heat. Now granted, this is not going to be done with one button, but this is the best I could do. The nice thing about this is I can put this thing, you know, I can put this thing wherever I want to put it and simply run wires to it. And I can probably hide this knob in a, a very sort of, you know, not very obvious place, whether that's maybe in the console or under the dash where I can get to it easily to control uh, the level of heat. So between this and the fan speeds, we should have a tidy little setup. But there you go. So more electronics fun to come, and I'll keep you posted on that as I get to it. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Look forward to talking to you next time. Y'all take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.